Talking about this custom ROM, the name is Xroid, which is basically based on Android 13. The new custom ROM is also out with the base on Android 13. Many custom ROMs are available, and I made a video already on those things. Which are the things which you have available in Xroid? Let's just talk about that as quickly as possible. We are talking about Xroid Android 13. I made a video on Xroid 12.1 or 12 already, I think so. And yes, this is what we have: Android 13. Xroid has a very different kind of UI to be honest it is maybe far more better if you compare it with some other custom homes one of the minimal custom homes yes it is actually quite minimal with a very good kind of ui and some basic customizations are included too it's based on android 13 so yes some of the things some of the new features which you have in android 13 are already present here but including that let's just talk about some other stuff for example the default launcher is what you have is pixel launcher pixel launcher is what you what you have pre-installed maybe in upcoming updates we might see some other different launchers different custom launchers i'm not talking about extra at this time the custom launcher will be available in some other custom homes there are many custom homes are coming adapting to android 13 with september security patch very very soon so stay tuned and also make sure to subscribe the channel also hit the notification bell icon if you need those videos okay if you move on to the quick settings panel in my personal opinion if i use the light mode i definitely need the light quick settings panel if i use the dark mode then unfortunately we have that option that is also available perfectly working fine too if we're able to notice the quick settings panel the tiles maybe tile style is also changed a bit and you can see this media player yes this is uh, one of the main highlights about android 13 the media player is something different and yes we also have the thing related to one app is active which means whichever app is active it will show you this kind of thing and yes i have already shown you all these things that you have in android 13 some features which you have in android 13 so it doesn't make sense to show all those things if you want to take a look at all those features I have a video available and I'll give you the link in the description for that or you can simply check out our videos on our channel. If I move on to some other things about this Xroid Android 13 which is basically OSS based uh, sorry if I'm not wrong this is CAF based or this was previously CAF based but now it's AOSP based google photos also has the unlimited backup option available for you and yes this is available as an option so if you don't want that you can simply disable that but i think so 99 percent of the users definitely need this thing and it's already available as you can see it's working perfectly fine same like that if i check out the safety net status that how it is working if, if it is fine or not it is and yes i'm using this on my mi 11x as my daily driver and yes i didn't got any kind of issues so far i'm using banking apps without root working perfectly fine the performance seems to be good enough Unlike Android 12, Android 12 was not stable at starting point, but right now if you compare it with Android 13, Android 13 is too stable. Maybe because of no major visual changes, but yes, this might be the thing. Here we have some UI changes. For example, if you're able to see the settings, this is almost same with Android 12 and 12.1, but yes, this is extra settings. This is not stock Android 13 settings, so things are changed here. If I take a look at the security settings, you have the fingerprint thing. So yes, that's necessary. That's already present. But if you need face unlock, if you need app lock, unfortunately, it's not there. You can simply check out some other custom homes if you need those features or maybe face lock is still not a major deal. You can simply skip that fingerprint should be present and it's already there. If I take a look at the display settings, it has Android 13 kind of UI. Other than else, things are basically same. If your device has a refresh rate option, you can get that option too. So no issues for me at all. If I move on to the customization section where we have all those customizations and features in this first build, which is basically initial build based on Android 13, it has some bit of things. If you're able to notice the volume panel, you can simply switch between ring mode, vibration mode and silent mode. All of these things are already here. If I take a look at the other options, for example, some status bar icons, things are basically same here. You have some less customizations if you compare it with Android 12. But yes, as I just mentioned, it's just initial build, so no issues in that too. In gestures, what I found here is you can simply hide the navigation bar pill if you want to. If you take a look at this gesture navigation sensitivity, you can simply disable the option for full screen gestures so that you'll be able to, you can simply enable that option so that you'll be able to hide the navigation bar pill 
well but as you can see buttons and some few of the options were missing from here but yes as i just mentioned initial build so yes in the next update we might see some new changes and yes these were things which i just want to let you know i think you like this video i hope you like this video and if you like this video don't forget to like and share this i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye